Yeah, this has been a great team down here this, this week. We started out with 33, and uh, it's been kind of interesting because Joe Workman, who has been the supervisor and job coordinator for us down here in the Dawson Springs area, uh, I think we've kept him busy. He's been a little surprised by our volunteers and missions teams that we are getting these jobs uh, done as quickly as we're getting them done and as well as we're getting them done. Uh, in fact, he's bragged all the other folks down here how good our United Methodist Volunteers and Missions teams have done. Uh, we've been done doing a variety of jobs from hanging ceiling tile uh, to uh, repairing roofs uh, to cleaning out houses that still need to be uh, kind of demoed so that uh, another team can come behind us and begin restoring those homes. And so we've had a pretty good variety of projects going for us this week. Well, we had a roof and then uh, leaks and stuff. I think we had some mold inside, which I think they took care of. <laughs> oh, they've been awesome. They've uh, finished cleaning the house out. We got all the trash and junk out that was blowed around. And uh, they finished cleaning it up and got it ready to paint and stuff. One of the things we're learning is not necessarily the skill set, it's the heart. And so when the people come with the heart, they can learn how to do this. But, but, but they have a passion and a spirit for it. And then that makes learning a lot easier. And, and, and that could go across the board. You know, if our spirits are right, we can learn a whole lot of stuff. And so, uh, so, and then the other piece about this is that you look for the shining eyes of people. And, and you could see it, you know, when you're working like this, and even when you're working with the people in the town. You've heard this cliche that whenever we come to do mission, we think we're coming to help people, but in turn, they bless us. And, and I think that's the biggest, biggest part of this, hearing the stories and the people's willingness just to share. Gary, our leader, has always reminded us is that, yes, the physical work is important, but the conversations you will have will be the most important. So that's what compels us to come. You know, it's Christ. It's not just about restoring homes. It's, it's about restoring um, lives. And, and part of that restoration is allowing people the opportunity to share their story and allow that to come out so that healing in them uh, begins as much as the healing on their homes. Yeah, well, you know, our Volunteers of Mission uh, Ministries uh, mission is to send uh, people to where they are needed. And so one of my hopes with the folks that have come on this trip is that they will go back home and tell their churches there's still work to be done and, uh, and to build teams to bring them back down this way um, as we look at not only what's happened here in western Kentucky but what we're looking at hap has happened in eastern Kentucky as well. So uh, my hope is, is that folks will go from this experience and, and uh, talk it up and uh, build some teams and bring them back.